I'm really glad this is a stone, natural stone floor. You know, if this was a wood laminate floor, I'd be really paranoid about all this water coming down on it. I have to take additional precautions on how to get this water out of here and all that, you know? Let's get back to our project. That's why I wanted to take that pipe off first, because then I can pull this out a little bit further and show you a little better. See that elbow? We've got to save that. The next thing we're going to do is take that nut off right there. Okay, all we've got to do is unscrew that. You can do that with a pair of pliers or with a little crescent wrench. You know, i got a little crescent wrench here. I can take it off with that. You can use a pair of pliers with that, a bigger crescent wrench. If I want, you know, whatever you want to do to get that off of there. And I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna loosen. If it doesn't loosen up, you can grab, so you can grab this elbow right there, like that. And then you can put something else on this. You know what I mean? And crank down on it. Let's see. There. There. Okay. Like that. I'm just gonna unscrew that. You make sure your water's off. <laughs> you're gonna have a big old leak here. Now, there's probably water in this line, you know? Maybe I shouldn't unscrew that all the way just yet. Probably should get a little bowl. Huh. Get a little bowl or something. Catch any water that's down there, maybe. You know, I'm going to just take the chance and see if any water comes out of here. I can wipe it up. Couldn't find a dirty bowl, and I really don't want to get a clean bowl. Do this, but I don't think there's much water in here. Yeah, look at that, nothing. Okay, here's my part. Oh, it's got some junk in it too. Just came out. That wasn't causing it to leak. It's just gone out. I don't know how old this is. Maybe seven years old, six or seven years old. You no, know, things aren't meant to last forever. Now what you could do is you could go online, find out the name of your dishwasher and the model number. Usually the model number is on the side of the door as you pull the door down. You'll find it somewhere. And then you'll you might come across a picture of it or something. Or go down to a like Sears or Pennies or you know, a, uh, an appliance company, and you can show them a picture or something. They'll, they'll bring up a picture and you can show them which part you need. And see what sort of cost is associated to it, and see if you want to tackle something like that yourself. I think I might be able to fix that, replace that. Now what you could do is you could go online, find out the name of your dishwasher and the model number. Usually the model number is on the side of the door as you pull the door down. You'll find it somewhere. And then you'll, you might come across a picture of it or something. Or go down to a, like Sears or Pennies or, you know, a, uh, an appliance company. And you can show them a picture or something. They'll, they'll bring up a picture and you can show them which part you need and see what sort of cost is associated to it and see if you want to tackle something like that yourself. I think I might be able to fix that, replace that. Now here's what I did. I know an appliance service tech and I call him out, I call the same guy out every time I need him and that works out really well because sometimes he'll help me out. 
he dropped by, he took a look at that and he said, you know what, I just ordered one of those parts because generally it's not this part that's leaking on a dishwasher. Usually he's, he fixes something else. He said, you know, I just bought one of those and so he sold it to me. He told me what I needed to do and, you know, just undo those wires and I have to undo the, the uh, water line and then there's a pipe back here that connects on to the back side just with a little spring-loaded clamp. I gotta pull that off. And he sold me the part. And he said, ah, yeah, you know, go ahead and try it yourself. So here's the part. See that? It's gonna fit right up in there. That's where the pipe fits on there. And then I've gotta take the elbow off where the water connection is, and I gotta screw that back on there. You know, it's gonna be a little bit of work, but then here, these two wires here get plugged back on in there. So, you know, it looks straightforward. So I'm gonna tackle this, and I'm doing it right here live on the video. I have never replaced one of these before. I think I can do it. I am not an appliance repair person, okay? I am telling you all that, because I want you to see that if Joe can do it, you can do it.